everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to another video tutorial at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin'. Today I wanted to show you how to do the technique which is called the Joseph's Coat. And I posted this card earlier on my blog and it's using this technique. And what the technique is, is where you see the image right here where it's a few different colors and then your background is one color, that's the technique. So let's go ahead and get started. First, what you're going to need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, and this is cut at four and one eighth by five and three eighths. So it's just one eighth shy all the way around of being an average size card of four and a quarter by five and a half. So today we're using the large swallowtail stamp. I love this stamp and we're using three different colors. We're using the Summer Star Fruit, the Wild Wasabi, and the Primrose Petals. Now, earlier today, I did this card, and I did it a little bit different than the normal technique um, says that you're supposed to do it. And this is how it turned out. And on the background, I used the um, Raspberry Ripple. And I thought that maybe it was a little too dark for the colors that I was going for. So we're going to try the Primrose Petals um, this time. And hopefully it's dark enough <laughs> that it'll work. Okay, so what we need to do is take two of our ink colors, or three or however many you want to use. And I'm using, again, the Wild Wasabi and the Summer Star Fruit. And what we're going to do is on our sponge, we're going to go on our background and we're just going to start coloring wherever we want these colors to be. No rhyme or reason, just wherever you think they're going to look good together. And I wanted to do some sort of colors with, you know, summer right around the corner. Green and yellow make me think of sunshine and grass. <laughs> Try not to bend your paper if you can. And then just go all over. Get a little bit more green in there. Alright, that looks good for now. Okay. So that's what it looks like so far. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our embossing buddy and what our embossing buddy does is whenever you do embossing, you want to use your embossing buddy so your embossing powder, could I say embossing any more time, any more times in like a five second period, it makes your embossing powder not stick to any place other than where your Versamark goes. So it's a really nifty tool to have. So we're going to take our Swallowtail stamp and our Versamark and we're going to coat this really well. And when we have a large stamp such as the Swallowtail, I like to flip the stamp upside down and do my ink pad, whether it be Versamark or color, directly onto the stamp so I can make sure that I'm getting full coverage on my image. Alright, that looks good. Another tip that I like to do when I'm using a large stamp is I like to have the stamp facing up and place my paper right on top of the image because then it gives me a little bit more um, idea of where I'm placing my paper. So then I'm just going to take a scrap piece and I'm going to rub this all along my image to make sure that that burst mark gets good and stuck trying really hard not to move the paper that's, or my cardstock that's underneath my paper. There we go. Flip it over. Now you can't really see where the image is. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to see it all on the camera. Maybe you can a little bit because it's being blocked by all the color, but that's okay. That's what we want. So now I'm going to take my clear embossing powder I can pick this up here. There we go. And then I'm going to cover my butterfly. Nice and covered. Get 
Give it a little tap there to get the extra off. Flip it around. There we go. Give it a little... Perfect. Now, if you do still get embossing powder where you don't want it, I just take a paintbrush and brush off that extra where it's at to make sure that it's exactly how I wanted it. And now that I can really see it, I see I missed a tiny spot right there on his wing. There we go. Okay, so now let me close these real fast. Alright, now we're going to take our heat tool, so excuse the noise. And if you're new to using the embossing powder or the heat tool, you're going to be able to tell when your powder is set because it goes from this white color to clear. And it kind of has a little bit of a glossy shimmer to it. So as soon as all that powder is gone is when you're going to be able to see, or when you're going to know that you're done. And it doesn't take very long. And that's it. We're done. Yay! Okay. So now for my darker color, and you want to try and use somewhat of a darker color because we want to cover all of this color that's not that's on the outside of our image. Now on this one that I did before, what I did was I embossed my image first and then did the coloring. And you it's still, I think, pretty. You have a very subtle color right here in his wings. Um, with the green and the yellow and then when they mixed together it kind of made an orange as well. But this is technically the Joseph's Coat technique is how we're doing it right now. So we're going to take the primrose petals and we're just going to rub all over. It doesn't matter if you get it on your butterfly because we're going to wipe that off in a minute. We just want to make sure that the background is nice and coated. Oh, that looks really pretty. Love it. And I love too, like um, how I said in the other one, when some of the colors blend together and sometimes make a completely, you know, different color, I think that that's great. Okay, that looks good. Now we're going to take a towel and we're going to rub over our butterfly. Kind of giving him a little bit of pressure, but... And then we're going to get that extra off of it. So pretty. And then that's what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Now to finish my card off for today, I just took a piece of the Summer Star Fruit and I'm going to adhere my butterfly on the back. And the Summer Star Fruit is cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, so it's average size. And it's just one eighth, lar one -eighth of an inch larger all the way around, just to give my swallowtail here a nice frame. And then I would just stick this to the front of my card and finish decorating it. And there we go. There is the Joseph's Coat technique. Well, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Until next time, happy inking!